other words, if you did know, you would have ended the relationship. Well, because it wouldn't have made sense to me that he's like, I'm getting separated. Oh, by the way, I have a baby on the way. It's like, you are a liar. You're just trying to sleep with me. That's what I would have probably interpreted that as, and I'd have just shut that off at work, and that would have been the end of it. Okay. Um, all right. We can move past that. Um, the week that he comes back from North Carolina, you, you don't remember, somewhere in the first couple of weeks of August. Yeah, I think it was the second week, but I don't remember off the top of my head. So we'll just use August as a time frame. Is that fair? Because you know he left in July, and he comes back in August. How many times do you think you see him? I saw him a few times. I saw him this past Saturday. I saw him the Wednesday before that. And he wanted to see me more. I was the one who wanted my space. I was like, nope, your kids are home. Go hang out with your kids. And even on Wednesday, I cut it short. Like, he came and hang out with me for a few hours, and then I was like, go chill with your kids. Um, I was always, like, really Do you respectful. you know specifically where you guys went? Did you meet at your house? Did you guys go to uh, any restaurants? Did you go to establishments? Um... Last Wednesday, he came to my house, and this past Saturday, we went to, um, what's the name of that bar that we used to go to? It's not the same, the Lazy Dog, but it's the one off of 144th and I-25. I think it's 144th, up there. And it's the Lazy Dog? Yes. Um, did he ever mention a Rockies game that night? Um, no, I don't think so, but there was a... It was, uh, um, the Broncos were playing, okay. which we couldn't see because they sat us in really crappy spots, but it's okay because it's preseason. <laughs> but, um. So, you went, do you recall what time you went there? 